Davis, who's in Washington. Davis, what more do you know? Well, we've just had a statement, Martine, from the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections. And they say that inmate uh, Ariel Castro was found hanging in his cell this evening at 9.20 p.m. That's just under uh, four hours ago at the Correctional Reception Center in Orient uh, in Cleveland. Uh, he was housed in productive, uh, sorry, protective custody, which means that he was in a cell by himself. Uh, rounds... Uh, that's rounds by uh, prison officials are required every 30 minutes at staggered intervals, apparently. And upon finding uh, Ariel Castro, uh, prison medical staff began performing life-saving measures. Uh, shortly after that, he was transported to a local hospital and pronounced dead an hour and a half uh, after he had been found hanged. A, a thorough review of this incident is underway, they say in the statement, and more information can be provided as it becomes available pending the status of this investigation, Martine. Now, it wasn't long ago, was it, that we were seeing, we were completely enthralled with the scenes, the court scenes of Ariel Castro uh, uh, making a plea bargain uh, and, and the women whom he'd held captive uh, addressing the court and telling us of perhaps the most, what will be one of the most notorious crimes of the decade, if not the century. Absolutely. This was a man who uh, abducted uh, these uh, three young women, one as uh, young as 14 when she was actually plucked off the street and uh, kept them in his house about three miles away. All this happened within a three mile radius. Uh, he, of course, fathered a child by one of these women, Amanda Berry, and that child was with Amanda Berry when she managed to escape from the house and uh, called the police. The same day, uh, Ariel Castro was arrested. He was subsequently charged with more than 900 counts of rape and aggravated uh, 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 murder, kidnapping, and so on. He uh, altered his plea to guilty as part of a plea bargain. And uh, part of that plea bargain was that he give up all of his assets, including his house where the women were kept. And uh, that house, of course, has since been demolished. Now, as you say, David, this only happened uh, uh, a few hours ago. We've just heard about it within the last 45 minutes or so. Too early, I guess, for any reaction to have come from his victims. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's uh, quite late at night here in the early hours in the morning, in fact. So um, too early uh, for reaction. But it will be interesting to see what sort of reaction there is when it does come. Um, Ariel Castro, known to have been uh, a violent man. He uh, inflicted numerous injuries upon his uh, first wife. And uh, he, of course, told the court uh, in his mitigation that uh, he was addicted to sex and to pornography. He also made the outlandish claim that uh, much of the sex that he believed was consensual. As I say, he uh, fathered one child by, uh, the, by uh, Michelle Knight. Um, he impregnated her at least five times, it would seem. And uh, on many occasions, he actually managed to get her to miscarry, either by starving or beating her. I'm sure we're going to hear a lot more about this throughout the day, aren't we, David? Thank you very much indeed, David Willis. Uh,